Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to a new episode of Eric Mealtime. In this episode, I am at the airport in Tokyo and I have found some new food vending machines. Let's get on with it. This vending machine is brought to you by the convenience store Family Mart. Let's see what they've got. Let's see what they got. Rice balls. They've got some little cakes, waffles, some pastries. What is this? Pancakes, donuts. Oh boy, more pastries. Some jelly drinks. What's that right there? Um, coffees, yogurt drinks, sandwiches. Yes, and chocolates, candies, potato chips in the uh, cans. Canned potato chips. Oh yeah. All right. So what are we gonna get? Let's load up here. Let's load up. Okay. So this is gonna be a little bit tricky. I'm gonna try to do this holding the camera and feeding the money in, punching the buttons. I got this, I got this. One-handed operation. I don't got this. All right, there we go. Load it up. Let's start off at the top. Let's get the uh, rice ball first. That one, what is it, number one? It's uh, something, something with mayonnaise, which you guys know I like. Push the uh, con confirmation. Look at this, up it comes. Wait for it. There we go. And back down. Yeah. All right, that's one. Okay, round two. Okay, what's next? Falling along here. Uh, oh, I don't know. Waffle? Waffle or pancake? No, it's number seven. That's a good one. Number seven right there. It's sort of like a Japanese pancake. It's got the onko paste in it. Number seven. Lucky seven. Did you get it? Coming up. Oh, this is fun. Gotta love it. Oh, yeah. Going up, going down, going all around. Yeah. There we go. Okay, the on pancake. Yeah. All right, what's next? Prices for all this. Should be telling you guys the prices too, huh? Money in. So 120 in for the first rice ball, it's about a dollar, about 90 cents for the pancake thing. Uh, should we do a donut? Uh, no, Melon Pond. Melon Pond is very popular in Japan. It's my son's Instagram account, Melon Pond, Zah Melon Pond, number 15. Okay. Oh, I love the uh, automation. It's spot on, they never get stuck. It's quick. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, got a bunch of change. Better pull out this change. Yeah. Stop using the paper and use the coins. Okay, next up. Next up, all right, where are we going? Let's get some of the pastries here. Let's try, what is that? Uh, something sausage. What's that one there? Ham, cheese, mayo. Yeah, number 27, ham, cheese, mayo. Less than a dollar for two of those little buns. Oh yeah. Woo. Looking good, looking good. All righty, all righty. Okay, what's next, what's next? Next is, oh, he's filling the machines next door here. It's quite the operation. Look at all the stock. It's a lot of stuff that fits in these, huh? All right, a couple more. Couple more, get in there. The coins are way easier to put in. No, nope, not bad, not bad. Okay, right there, that Danish number 29. It's a 90 cent Danish. Tapuri cream Danish. It means lots of cream inside it. 29, all right, for the win. How am I gonna eat all this stuff? It's way too much. Maybe just one or two more. One or two more. Let's see if I can get my son to join me, if I can find him. Yeah, most of this is junk food. Yeah, all right. all right, let's see, keep going, a couple more. Do I need something to drink? Nah, I'll have beer. I think I'll have beer. Uh, let's see, oh, they have sandwiches, mixed sandwiches. I guess I gotta do one, it's either 41 or 42. Ham, cheese, and tuna salad, yeah, that's the one. 41, that's the one, that's the one. Okay. Did it work? Uh oh. Okay. A 
Oh, this is trick. This is trick. There we go. The sound match. And let's see. Last, we're gonna finish it with some uh, chocolate. 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 Gotta get some chocolate. Chocolate. 110 for the chocolate. Crunky. You know, Crunky is my favorite. That's it. Number 46 right there. It's about a dollar 46. Got to get Crunky with it. Yeah. Ooh, it's pretty fun buying this stuff. Just watching the machine. Could do this all day until I run out of money. Yeah, my favorite crunk. Gotta love the crunky. And maybe we'll do some chips here. So, see, you got Pringles, you got the import right there. And then you got the Colby, those are Japanese ones. And Chipstar, those are Japanese ones. So I think I'll go with Chipstar. Uh, yeah, which one? My corn consomme. Sounds gross. Corn consomme. Over here, too. Corn consomme. And that's just salt. And of course the Pringles, you know, sour cream and onion, right? Uh, all right, we'll do the Japanese one. Yeah, 53. How much is that? 120. 110. 20. 53. Oh boy, I'm really gonna have to work on my appetite for this one. Okay, and that's it. All right. Pretty much got the backpack filled up. Now let's go find a place to eat. All right, hey guys, what's going on? I got the goods, fresh foods from a vending machine. But are they truly fresh and how do they taste? That's the question. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what we got. I think you've seen most of the stuff already because I just bought it. it. Took me about 45 minutes to get home from the airport, so everything should still be nice and cool, refrigerated, Let's pull it all out. How many items do I have here? God, I bought a lot. Oh, I also got a drink, too. This was after. I don't think you've seen this on the video yet. I've got the brand new Coca-Cola Peach right here. Oh, yeah. Only in Japan, I think, they've got this. So, yeah, let me know if you've ever seen that before, the Coca-Cola Peach. All right, so here's the items. Let's, uh, let's put them out and figure out what we're gonna eat first. I think I can manage all this. What does it look like? It's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items total. Is that right? Yep. So a sandwich, some buns, candy for dessert. There's a rice ball. What is this, a pancake with uh, sweet bean paste in it? Melon pond. This is, I'm looking forward to this one, and some potato chips. So, hmm, 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 hmm. Where do we start? So, I think I'm going to call this a vending machine mukbang because all the food's right in front of me here. And then I can just uh, grind it out. Let me see. Let's bring in a plate. We'll eat each item on the plate. And bring in a cup. That's for the beverage. All right, I'm gonna start with an appetizer. The appetizer is going to be this right here. This is the ham, cheese, mayo. So some buns, ham, cheese, mayo, rolls, buns, I guess they are. Smells fresh. Oh boy, oh, these are good. I've had these before. Really good. Super fresh, super soft. Mm. Need a beverage. Got Coca Cola Peach. Here we go. My first time trying this. Well, yeah. I'd have something to drink with bread items. And even, it smells a little bit peachy. Hmm. All right, now, I don't drink soda pop very often. It's not my thing, but I figured Coca-Cola peach, I just had to try this, right? I mean, it just sounds so exotic. I've had the Coca-Cola vanilla before, and that's really good. I like that. But that was years ago. So here we go. Coca-Cola peach. Wow. 
Not what I expected. The cola flavor is still there, but there's there's big flavor of peach too. Not too sweet. I think it's it's done just right. Wow, that's a shocker. I'm going to have some more of this. That's good stuff. Huh, who would have thought? I mean, it sounds awful, right? Coca-Cola peach. Hmm. Oh. Oh, these are really good. So, I hope you can see that. It says, Famima. Famima. So short for Family Mart. That's the company that services these vending machines. And they're, I believe, the number three convenience store in Japan. So at a place like Honda Airport, a lot of volume. They can just keep filling it every, you know, several times a day and keep stuff fresh. Mm hmm. I'm going to eat both of these. Since this is a mukbang, the rules of a Korean mukbang are you have to eat everything that's on the table. That's the rule. I believe that's the rule. Correct me if I'm wrong if you guys have seen mukbangs before. So I am going to attempt to eat everything that's on the table here. So get comfortable and join me. This could take a while. The bakery goods in Japan are really good. I'll tell you that. You can get them anywhere. Convenience store, supermarket, or the bakeries themselves. But baked goods are amazing in Japan. Super, super fresh. And most of them are delicious. Mm hmm Oh, it's good. You don't get much ham, but hey, that's the way it is. Japan doesn't have a lot of meat in their food culture. I mean, there is a lot of meat, but the portions are very small. That's what I want to say. Mm-hmm. Oh. Slice bit's a bit, a bit dry. Oh, man, I shouldn't ate both of those. I'm getting full already. And this is about 90 cents, not even a dollar for both of those. Super bargain, right? I mean, really fresh. Hmm. I am really liking this Coca-Cola peach. I mean, I thought it would hate it. I thought it would just like spew it out. But it's really good. Hmm. Okay, so what's next? I want to try to eat this in a strategic way that I can finish all of it and still be happy and have an appetite. So these, let's separate them into desserts. These are sweet ones, main dishes, and then the end. This, the candy is gonna be the, the final for sure. Is that in the frame? Yeah. Okay, so main dishes, sweets, and then candy. Oh, we got this too. Chips, chips is a bit of an appetizer, right? Yeah, you definitely eat chips for a main dish. Let's do the chips. Okay, packaging inside of packaging. Japan is famous for that. Yep. Okay, so this is called Chip Star Potato Chips and Consume. Consume? I said corn before, I think. Consume just means like like a soup, right? I don't know. What does the word consume mean? I don't even know what it means. Some kind of soup, I think, right? Powdered soup. Okay, so let's empty them all out. Oops, drop one. Okay, so here's what they look like. I mean, it's a knockoff of Pringles, more or less, right? And you know the way to eat these, right? <clears throat> you gotta do this. Yeah. Yeah. Did I get that wrong? This way. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, 
you know, with these sort of chips like this, you can't beat Pringles. I'll just say that, okay? Now, the, you know, the Japanese try with their flavors. These are cheaper. You get a little bit more for your money. But Pringles rock. Chip star is really not the star, okay? I mean, it's maybe two stars. Okay. I'm going to put these aside for later, but I will come back to them. Mm -hmm. All right, what's next? Better eat this sandwich because it's getting warm pretty quick. This is the ham, cheese, and tuna potato salad. That's what it's called. <laughs> right? That's a mouthful, isn't it? There's a lot of stuff here. So there's two of them in the package, and whatever this sells for, it's a good price, less than a couple of bucks. Okay. Notice how on these sandwiches the crusts have been cut off, so it's just white bread. I'll go with the uh, the tuna mayonnaise first. Oh, my favorite. Um. There's a tiny bit of celery in there as well, too. Gives it a bit of crunchiness. Uh, it sounds awful, but definitely go for the tuna mayonnaise sandwich if you come to Japan. Mm -hmm. See, I devour that in, what, a minute or less? Okay, next up, this is ham, cheese, lettuce. I have more of the standard ham cheese. This is dressed probably with a bit of mayonnaise, I think, too. All right. Let's get into it. Mm-hmm. Mayo. Oh, it's creamy. It is creamy. Yeah, I like this. Now, you'll find in Japan that white bread is the most popular. It's everywhere. It's very hard to find wheat bread or other types of bread, you know, with like grains and stuff like that. White bread is king in Japan. It's delicious. Mm hmm. It's soft, it's fresh. Is it good for you? Well, hmm. I'll tell you what I'm liking the best so far is this right here, this peach Coca-Cola. My goodness. What an invention. I thought it was going to be horrible. Did I say that already? All right. Next up. I don't know. This is a, this is a large size rice ball. It is, it's tuna mayonnaise. So yeah, I hope there's a lot inside. The, the only problem with the, these rice balls to me is that they don't put enough of the filling inside. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take a bite right in the middle and go for filling first. Right, you got to go deep into the center to get the filling, right? There's not that much, right? It's it's 20% of the whole thing is the filling and the rest of it is just rice and seaweed. So I'm gonna eat from the center out. Mmm, <laughs> that's the way to do it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the center out. Mmm, ah, it's good. You know, I think this will go well with some chips. Let's combine these together. Probably never before been done, but rice ball and chips together. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, boy. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Man, that really works. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Woo! Oh, man. Rice ball and potato chips. Who would have thought? It works. Mm-hmm. All right. God, I'm eating way too fast. i got to slow down. Slow down. Four items left. Well, and my peach Coca-Cola. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Well, I think I need to take a break here for a minute. Just a minute. Okay. Break's over. What's next? What do we have left here? We have some pastries. Melon pan, which my son likes. This one is a, uh, it's like a pancake. Let's eat this one first. This is very Japanese. It's, it's ampan, okay? But it's basically a pancake filled with <laughs> uncle bean paste, sweet bean paste. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's like a, it's a sandwich, more or less. All right, so you can see, you open it up. All right, you got two pancakes, and in the middle, you have the on pan, the really sweet bean paste. And I've just destroyed the whole thing. But you had to see it. Otherwise, you wouldn't have got it. Maybe we could break it in half. Okay, now I've destroyed it even more. Let's get into it. Too dry. Oh. Definitely too dry. I think I'm gonna need another one of these. I think I'm gonna need another of these. Coke peach. Peach Coke. But it's exactly what it is. Two pancakes filled with bean paste, sweet bean paste. I guess it's kind of similar to maple syrup in a sense, but it's sweet. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like a breakfast food. Yeah. But you can find the Anko or the sweet bean paste in virtually like all the pastries in Japan. I mean, it's, it's pretty hard to to not get it when you buy one and you don't know what's inside it. So if I, I recommend if you go to a Japanese bakery, just buy a bunch of them and you'll get you'll get the Japanese bean paste in more than a few of them. That's the default. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next up, I've got a Danish here. I've got the melon pun. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat the melon pun. This is this has got a lot of volume to it. But this is what my son likes. My son, the dude's got it. In fact, he likes it so much that he named his Instagram account after this. In Japanese, it's called Melampon. So he is Za, Z-A, which in Japanese means the Melampon. Yep. So I'll link to his account down below if you want to follow him. But it's, it's heavenly. Melampon is, it's available everywhere. Does it resemble a melon? The shape maybe resembles a melon. But that's it. A little bit of the flavor, but it's a, it's a bun, basically. I can get them everywhere. Oh, man. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, man, that's good. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. 
Making a mess. Mm. So actually the flavor of this one is white chocolate melon palm. So that's the covering on top, white chocolate. And, hmm, it's very moist. You don't really need much, much uh, water or Pepsi to go along with it. Mm hmm. Melon pond. Give it a try. Melon bread. Pond is the word for bread in Japanese. Nope. Okay, this is, this is messy. Bread is messy. All right, two items left. You guys going to hang in there with me? Thanks if you've hung in there this long. I still got appetite. That's the amazing thing. I can still eat these last. I think I can. Yep. I still got my peach Pepsi left here. Mm-hmm. It was a half a liter, that bottle. So it's nice. It's nice that you can get the... I like these, the half liter bottles. And I, I got this for 100 yen. This was less than a dollar out of a vending machine. So, yep. Probably just uh, available for a limited time. Not sure. But would I try it again? Pepsi, not Pepsi. Coke peach. I would probably try it again. Even though I don't really drink sweet drinks. I'm a green tea drinker. And a beer guy myself. But that's just me. All right. Next up is the Tapuri Cream Danish. This one. I, this is a real dessert item. I saved the sweetest two for last. Okay. It's the Danish and the candy. Chocolate. Chocolate. Candy. Wait. This is chocolate. This is Danish. All right. Let's do the Danish. Oh, man. I'm going to need some serious exercise tomorrow morning. Where's the vegetables? <laughs> all right. I don't eat like this all the time, you guys. Okay, I get a lot of questions like that. Like, what is your normal diet? Aside from the Eric Mealtime videos. What do you eat, like, you know, on a normal day? And the answer to that is, I'm about 90% vegan. I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, beans, nuts, things like that. So, a lot of the stuff that you see me eating in the Eric Mealtimes is not my normal diet. But that being said, Eric meal times are twice a week, so I do like to indulge and eat this kind of stuff. But if you eat this kind of stuff every day, you're going to get fat. You're not going to be healthy. You're not going to have high energy levels. You're going to feel basically like crap. Okay, so there it is. I laid it out there for you. That's it. All right, the Danish. And it's from a vending machine. I mean, the freshness is there. This is, I'm going to show this to you guys. I mean, this is the real deal. It's as if I just bought it from, you know, a bakery. Fantastic. That. There's a lot of volume for something that costs less than a dollar. Mm -hmm. I think the total cost for this meal was, was about 10 bucks. And, you know, it's really, it's like two or three meals. So, is there freshness in vending machine food in Japan? Yes, absolutely. Everything is fresh. Is there value in vending machine food in Japan? Absolutely. And how's the taste overall? Acceptable. Mm -hmm. When you're in a rush, definitely give it a go. It's the same as going to a convenience store, I would say. The standards in Japan are that good. That's the end of the Pepsi. Peach flavored Pepsi. It's not Pepsi, it's Coke. All right. Last but not least, it's time to get Crunky. This is my favorite chocolate in all of Japan. Comes in many different sizes and shapes, but this is the pack that I like the best. These are like little pellets inside here. So it's a bite sized pack. Sells for about a dollar. Definitely try these. This is, and there's a little like rice. There's a little bit of rice inside. I know it sounds funky, but like Rice Krispies inside. So you get a little bit of crunchiness, but other than that, it's, it's pure chocolate. You know, so. 
Get crunky. I'm just gonna empty them out right here. I'll put them right here into the little dish. There they are. Here's the close up. Look at those. Perfection, right? Crunky chocolates. Yeah, you get about 20. Mine for a buck. Oh, oh, so good. So, oh. so good. Mmm. Creamy, crunchy, crunky. Mm hmm. Creamy, crunchy, crunky. The three C's, they got them covered. I haven't had these in a long time. I should buy them more often. Oh boy. There it is. It's a bag right there. Oh. All right, let's finish them. Let's polish it off. Finish up this mukbang. Mukbang. How many mukbangs have I done? It's not very often where I sit down and just eat, eat, eat. Everything on the table. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And consider supporting me on Patreon, my Patreon account. I'll put a link right up here. If you support me on Patreon, you're the best of the best. And that will allow me to make better content. To travel more. To seek out better foods. Basically, you have voting rights anyway. You guys can tell me anything you want me to do. You own me. I appreciate every single one of you. You don't need to support me on Patreon, but but the link's up there just in case you'd like to support me. I would really, really appreciate it. If you don't want to support me, that's totally cool as well, too. I just respect you guys that you watch me for so long and... And subscribe and get to know me through the comments. You guys are part of Team Get Some. And I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. So, with that said, what do I need to do? I need to rate this meal. Vending machines. You guys ask for them all the time. They're hard to find. But this one from Honey the Airport, the Tokyo Domestic airport in Japan. Yeah, it's the first time I've seen those machines. So it was, it was a good score today, I think. Yeah. It's sponsored by a convenience store, but hey, all the same. It's still a vending machine, right? Um, considering everything, taste, convenience, freshness, I'm going to have to give it a full six. I mean, it's a six out of six stars. That's right. Six out of six. So... I'm giving away three of the Get Some Snack Packs. Three. All you need to do to enter this giveaway is leave a comment down below. Speaking of the Get Some Snack Packs, I just made a brand new batch. Here they are right here. They don't even have the labels on them yet, but they're filled with goodies from Japan. And like I was saying, I only give them away. They're not for sale. The reason why I give them away is just because I want to give back to you guys. And if you ever feel like you want to give back to me, my Patreon account, <laughs> you can give back to me if you like. But whatever. It's optional. You don't need to. What makes me the most happy is when I give away stuff to you guys. I don't need anything in return. So anyway, to enter for your chance to win one of these Get Some Snack Packs, leave a comment down below. And I will announce the winners in the very next episode of Eric Mealtime. Thanks for watching. Look forward to reading your comments. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to the Eric Surf 6 channel. I do three uploads per week. Two of the Eric Mealtime series. 
And one of this new series that I'm trying to start up right now, it's called Eric Challenge Time, where I do tricks, puzzles, magic, and different interesting challenges. So check that out as well, too. All right. See you guys in the next one.